Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how we can data bind to Xamarin forms. So right here, I am inside this data bind example page. And again, you can find the source for this lecture in the description. Okay. So now, we want to do the following. We want to add some elements to this stack layout right here, some labels and we want to like data bind to it okay from the front like uh, let's pretend that we have some database and we want to data bind the data to this uh, ui element okay so how we can do that first thing first let's come down here what i will do i would like to define actually two labels okay uh let's add text attribute okay uh, let's copy it and paste it now we will imagine that we have uh, two attributes okay uh, and these are uh, these attributes are coming from uh, a model we will now create and we want to bind it to these labels so now let's go to the solution explorer let's hit right click and let's add a new folder now this folder we're gonna call it models okay now inside the models this is what we will do we will add a new class uh, this class we will call it actually student okay and it will be our own middle uh, class and uh, let's add it public all right this will be just uh, like uh, an uh, common BOCO class okay so let's add a property and let's call it string oops sorry string and this one will be the student name student oops name okay and we will need another one let's add another property this time i will call uh, give it date time and it will be date of birth okay i will use the shortcut and we will just want to add another property let's call it email we're not gonna access it right now we're gonna just stick with the first two okay all right so we have our model right here it's ready it has these three properties that we will need to bind add data to and view it in the saml page all right so now uh, let's head uh, over to the saml right here so now we know the name of the properties we will be binding okay so let's take the student name and let's come back here now how i'm going to tell this label that you know what I want you to take this property from that model and show it inside your text. So how are we gonna do that? We're gonna call in the binding right here inside curly braces. Be careful, you need to add the curly braces. Now we will pass in the name of the property. So this way we can tell, go ahead. I want you to bind to this uh, label, to its text, this value right here, okay? Now uh, I will copy the binding right here, just to save time, oops. Okay, it's not working for some reason. <laughs> All right, now, uh, and I'm going to use date of birth, okay? So good so far. So we have right here, the UI is ready. Now it's understand that this label will take this uh, attribute, this label will take this attribute, etc. So now let's head back to the code behind for uh, this XAML page. Now what I want to do, I want to do the following. I want to initialize a new student class or a new student object. Sorry, equal a new student. Okay. And for sure we are getting this error due to the fact that we are not saying using models okay so we need to say using models and yep the error is gone now let's go let's add the oops the student again uh, let's call it the student name i uh, will just give it uh, uh let's call give it let's say david okay let's copy that let's 
uh, the date of birth now of course it's need to be date time so let's call in a new date time right here okay now we need to pass in the okay nope not text year month and day let's call uh, 1991 my date of birth of course <laughs> okay and yep we are good to go all right now we have this new object that is the representation of the student model now we need to pass this object to the page so it's get point so how we gonna do that we're gonna call in this property the binding context oops all right so this property binding context we will pass in the student to it and we are all set to go so now let's go ahead let's run uh, this program uh, on my device and let's see the output so now uh, this is after running uh, the application we have uh, this output and as you notice we have the name of the student and we also have the date of birth which is having to be my date of birth okay so now let's stop this okay now what we want to do now uh, like most cases you will not only be working with a single element okay you will need to add or let's say work with more than a single element all right and binding them to the uh, ui all right so this will not just like it will not be sufficient enough for you to do your entire work so how we can work with that how we can expand that now i would like to do the following i would like to go come here now i would like to add uh, a new folder i'm gonna call it cedar hopefully hopefully the spelling is correct okay so now let's add a class let's call it student seed okay so now the student seed will only contain just uh, like a normal list just a public right here uh, just a normal list of uh, student seed so we're gonna call let's add a public method of type list and we need to go ahead and say using tutorials xl dot models and we need to call in the list and we need to call in the student okay i'm gonna say get defaults defaults so now this is the class uh, really simple the purpose of it just to create some dummy data so we can bind to the uh, screen so i'm going to say create a for loop right here i would like to add 10 items i would like to add a template actually right here so i'm going to say student i'm gonna say temp list okay of type students okay now what i want to do i want to add a new student okay now what i want to do i would like to add a name okay i'm gonna say name or i'm gonna actually say david okay and i will add the i to it okay i will add the date of birth this is just like some dummy data nothing like special nothing uh let's say fancy about it so i'm going to say add this i'm going to add also this i'm going to add uh, the i as the date and let's add finally the email all right so we have the email right here i'm gonna say test at email.com not real for sure <laughs> so let's add an i let's skip that let's hit end let's yep 
So we have our own template and we just come down here, say return template. Okay. And we're all set to go. So we have our own Cedar class right here that create for us 10 random event student. Okay. So I will do the following. I will go back to our page right here. What I will do, I will remove all of this. We don't need it anymore. We're going to need the following. We're going to need to call in the tutorials excel.model. Uh, no, 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 sorry. Not models. Uh, actually, cedars. Okay. Uh, this is what we want to do. Let's call it the student seed. Uh, let's call it student new student seed and we simply come down here calling the uh, say get defaults okay nothing new nothing fancy all right so we have the uh, seed right here and uh, now what I want to do now I actually prepared the XAML for this so you don't see me typing all the sling XAML okay and wasting time so now i will paste this let me just format it and let's explain it so now uh, we will deal first thing first with this uh, ui element it's called list view the list view just like an asp repeater or a grid view if you ever worked with the asbx okay now uh, this controller or let's say this control will be getting uh, uh, the binding context and it will show us the items the student name and also not his age uh, also his uh, date of birth okay and let's add in his email so we be showing everything oh oops we need an a right here Alright, so now let's explain this code. I'm thinking that you know what, let's review your item source will be the current context. Okay, the dot represent the current context for the uh, data binding example page. Okay, that's what the dot represent. Okay, now inside here, inside the list view, I have created an item template inside it will be a data template and inside it will be a view cell a view cell is just like a ui element in for the list view uh, just will show some uh, data okay in the screen uh, for the user now inside it i have right here inside the view cell dot the view okay i have this stack layout and each of them contain or uh, inside this uh, stack layout just containing the properties that we have for the student model which is the student name date of birth email etc okay so that's it that's uh, that's what we need actually now let's run this example let's uh, see the result we will get so right here as you notice we have all our divots shown in the screen and it has been binded to the list view okay now i just need to point out something really important notice that you need to iterate or start your iteration from one okay otherwise you will get an exception because a new date time day cannot start from zero it's need to start to from one so just be careful make sure you have the i equal one not zero okay so now let's come back here notice with me that we having uh, we are showing the name the date of birth everything seems uh, uh, going very well okay so now let's stop that okay now uh, what I want to do I would like to come back over here okay now what I want to do I would like to format my date of birth okay so it doesn't show like uh, as it was shown in the screen long with uh, another date and also the date time uh, or the time itself i want just only the date so how we can do that let's come here let's add a comma 
okay now notice and i think you see the intellisense okay notice we have the string format attribute right here okay our property we can call in the string format now inside the string format what we want to do we want to pass in uh, let's call in the representation for the uh, for the elements so uh, so it can uh, be formatted okay so now right here for the string format first thing first uh, make sure we close let me just come here uh, make sure we close this curly brace okay now here we need to pass in a single quotation make sure you do that okay now here we will do another curly brace okay just make sure you don't get confused with this one now we need to pass in or uh, first thing first we need to write zero okay now uh, here we need to pass in the uh, what we call the date uh, the date of uh, or the format of the date to be more specific so I would like to start with the month so month dash uh, today dash uh, the year okay now uh, I will hit save and I will run it on my device so we can see uh, the output now after we run this and see the output we will also want to do what we want to add uh, some string okay so like uh, we say like uh, uh, his date of birth is something something okay so we'll do that just let, uh, let us uh, see the output first for the string format for this one I will go to the bindable page example and yes we have the month we have now the day okay and we have also the year all are shown formatted and as we use dashes dashes between each element it's shown up here okay uh, now let's sit back let's stop the application uh, what we want to do I would like to say that date of birth is okay and I will add two dots and let's add the equal sign all right okay and uh, that's uh, that's pretty much what we need to do we just pass in the string that we find appropriate okay and now we will say uh, equal sign okay and just the format we uh, for the date uh, we want and also you can refer back to the Xamarin documentation so you can check out other formats like money other things that might be needing format even numbers decimals etc so just make sure that you head back to the Xamarin documentation and I believe you will find enough references so now uh, let's sit back uh, to our emulator yes we have C right, uh, we see that date of birth is equal okay the date okay we can we can safely remove the date okay uh, the, I'm sorry the equal uh, we don't really need it uh, we just uh, like added it so we reference that is, this is his date of birth so I hope you enjoy and find this tutorial useful please make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video and share it with your friends thank you for watching